basement of La Penta. It's WICR. WICR. Welcome back to a special broadcast of uh, WICR Election Day coverage. Of, uh, WICR Election. Um, so I uh, I'm joined now by Aaron uh, so and I, uh, Antonello. Joined now by. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for joining me um, on this uh, special day, and it'll be a historic day as well. Historic. Um, <laughs> Absolutely historic. Oh yes. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to start by, we were having a discussion before about the main issues facing uh, us young voters in this election and, you know, uh, just issues in general. So, uh, Antonello, I'll start with you. Uh, what, what what advice uh, do you have for people that haven't gotten to the polls yet? What advice? Um I would say uh, be smart about this uh, election. Be smart about who you vote for. We're not talking about... When it comes down to it, we're talking about the person who's going to lead and be the face of our country and the people for the next four years. Right. I can't imagine, personally, Donald Trump being the face... Donald Trump and representative of the, the people face. for the next four years. I mean, Donald Trump is a bully. Donald Trump has coasted I mean, Donald with Trump not talking about Donald things Trump in debates for the last two years. Like, it boggles my mind how Donald Trump has – he's a personality. He's a reality – has personality. I mean, we've he had to show the apprentice. It was huge. That was back when people actually kind of liked Donald Trump. Now it's very divided. Um, and I feel like Donald Trump is a personality, and he's used that personality to just kind of bully in debates, be very loud. Um, he knows how to work a crowd, and he's done that, but not really talked about views and how he's viewed and personally we don't even know like we talk about not being able to trust hillary we don't know how much we can trust coming out of donald trump's mouth because he said a lot of things over the last uh, couple years and even the last year that he's kind of changed his mind about um like saying he thinks climate change is a hoax perpetrated by china which hillary brought up in a uh debate that he said was false and he never said that and there's a tweet to prove it that um he has since deleted um so, like, it's just like, what can we believe that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth? Right, yeah. Um, so, uh, let me ask you, Aaron, um, about, uh, you know, what, what, you, what you think of this election and what advice do you have for voters heading to the polls, if they haven't already? <laughs> um, I think it's kind of, like, not disappointing, but... Anticlimactic for a lot of people who, as a child, would watch the election and go to the polls with their parents and see live time a Democratic candidate and a Republican candidate and how a lot of the lines have been blurred and a lot of people who would have voted for Obama or Romney four years ago now have completely different views. Um, but I think this is a testament to the country and hopefully it's a wake-up call that the choices you make does matter because in theor in actuality it's the people that put these two candidates forward and right. now mm -hmm. we're gonna have to either pay or maybe we'll gain so much from having one of them as our president but now you can use your power to make a vote and now you're a part of the problem if you don't vote so i think that's um, it can can i say Oh well, uh, one one thing, um, yeah. and I'll I'll let you go no right back on. But we are getting breaking news from CNN that uh, <laughs> Donald Trump wins Kentucky, Indiana, and Clinton takes Vermont. Uh, this gives Trump 19 electoral votes and Clinton uh, at three uh, electoral votes. Um, so uh, this is just projections; they could all change. So uh, don't don't quote me on anything. So uh, don't, no, no, it's just. Uh, based on, um, I guess, early projections. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's according to CNN. Uh, again, Trump uh, will, uh, is to win Kentucky and Indiana, and CNN uh, projects Clinton will win Vermont. Um, okay, so uh, I'll head back over to you, uh, Antonello, you wanted to add in. Yeah, I would say, um, look, no one 
I would is say, going um, to be grabbing a beer no with the president over the next four years. No one is going to be meeting them and seeing them in person no over the next four years. Yeah. All right. It doesn't matter if you like them I, I, yeah. as a person. It it's just their values. Like them, yeah. All right. The values the that they spread and they values. share. And I feel like yeah. um, Trump has shown that there's been it's bringing a lot of hatred out in this country. A lot of racial hatred, which really upsets me. Yeah. Being a person of color. Um, it really upsets me what's happening, what we're seeing every day on my Facebook feed about people. No one's saying, hey, let's get Mexicans out of this country, Hillary 2016. No one has said that. Um, so I would just say, you know, like, think about... Um, I would just say again, you know, what is best for this about, what is best um, for this country? And I want again, to make it clear that I am not trying to bash anyone for their views and their um, ideologies. Um, you guys have made it very clear that you guys have um, that you guys are very pro life. I respect that. I understand that. Um, I think that. Um, when um, I talk about what I is best for America that, um, over the next four years, um, obviously um, that incorporates the people's um, views of like religion, but obviously the economy and um, our relationships with other countries. And, and I really feel like even look, Hillary is um, pro-choice, and, really and even like if you are pro-life, um, pro you should um, you understand that Hillary um, is spreading values that are closely with with your religion, like in line with your religion, even if it's not maybe a couple things in particular there are things there are values there are moral values about helping everyone and respecting everyone that is not being um across both parties uh exactly and again um there are a lot of reasons people would vote for trump a lot of different reasons other than just being racist and hating people um and there are valid reasons maybe people um don't like politicians stuff like that i understand that they they don't respect uh, they don't um trust them um, but again, you're not having a beer with Hillary Clinton over the next four years. Yeah. All right. That 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 doesn't happen to any president, no matter who's who's elected. I think you just need to ask yourself: Do you hate Hillary more than like? Do you really dislike Hillary more than like you dislike Trump? <laughs> like I understand you dislike both, but uh, if you're like going in now and you still don't know. Right. Like if like, you must know, hate Hillary that bad to like, to, to, to like not do it at this point with, with two hours left. <laughs> um, we are uh, we're also getting some breaking news from um, CNN that are, it's still uh, too early to call in Georgia, CNN, South Carolina, and Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, with that. Um, Trump is currently at 19 electoral votes and Hillary Clinton at three. Um, so uh, we're going to keep an eye on that. And uh, I just want to say thank you, Antonello, and thank you, Aaron, for uh, coming on to uh, a special edition of uh, WICR election day coverage and uh voicing your opinion and who you're supporting i do appreciate that no problem man. and uh we'll see uh what happens in the coming hours on what happens so uh again thank you and uh we'll be right back here uh with more special coverage on the election stay with me here with more special coverage on the election stay with